beer tubers. So tonight's beer is by a brand new brewing company. Well, relatively new. They've been out for about four years now. So tonight's beer is Strand Brewing Company's Beach House Amber Ale. Now a little story just me with me and this beer. Uh, so the bottle shop that I work at in San Francisco, uh, we carry some of their beers. And as I was first acquainting myself with all of the new shipments, I noticed that, you know, just I like the simplicity of the label, but I also saw that, I was like, oh, they look, they're located in Torrance, California. And I used to live in LA, so I was familiar with this place, uh, the city anyways. And so the next time I ended up taking a trip down to LA, I decided to visit them. And I didn't know what to expect just because I didn't try their bottles when I was, uh, when we got them. And I was like, wow, this stuff is actually quite good. People need to know more about this. I ended up meeting the co-owner, Rich Marcello, and uh, he's a really, really nice guy, super enthusiastic and charismatic, and he ended up uh, hooking me up with their beers, and I was like, perfect, because I really wanted to have people know more about them. So, anyways, I really want to show you guys how some of their beers are, so I hope you check out more of their uh, the reviews that I'm going to do. So, let me go ahead and crack this open, and I'm going to show you guys how it is. Here's the Amber Ale. I'm not that big a fan of Amber Ales. I like Red Ales, but something about Amber Ales, I'm just kind of like, eh. I don't know why, just something about the malt base. But I really want to show you guys how this one is, so let me check the aroma of this. Hmm. Yeah, so you get like rich, sweet, almost like red fruits, but it's not quite fruity like from a Belgian ale. Um, you get caramel, you get toasted, biscuity notes in it. But the thing that makes this kind of different from other amber ales that I've had is that it has more of this fresh hop uh, aroma kind of that fruity aroma that you get from hops sometimes. And there's one thing that kind of made it made it stand out for me. And even when I had it fresh on draft, it was the same thing. Yeah, it smells really, really nice. So let me go ahead and give it a try here. Come pipe. Hmm. Yep. You know what? It's, it's just as good as I remember it. Yeah, that's the thing, Yeah, because other amber ales that I've had, it's just been kind of on the, just for me anyways, more on the boring side, some people like them, but something about this, it's because of, I don't know if they just don't use as much darker malts in it, and because it has this lighter mouthfeel to it, well I should say it's, it's a lighter body, uh, but there's plenty of flavor, but at the same time it's not like thick caramelly kind of, you know, like you get on a borderline brown ale kind of thing. Um, that you don't get that. It's, it's on the lighter side, it's drinkable, but it's flavorful. Uh, and sure enough, it's the hops. I don't know what kind of hops that they use in this uh, Amber Ale, but it has this crisp citrus character to it that just makes it really, really enjoyable. I, I'm really digging this. Mm. Man, this is refreshing. I mean, when's the last time you had a refreshing Amber Ale? I mean, usually refreshing beers, you think of lagers, Saisons, Sours, uh, IPAs, you know, but Amber Ale, you know, that's not the first style I think of, and let alone not, that's not the first style I would want to drink, but something about this, however they made it, like I said, it, with the tasting notes, that it just makes it so refreshing, and it's, it's really, really nice because, I mean, something like this, I could easily drink this on a beach, you know, I'd be totally okay with that, and, you know, it doesn't have to be a lager or anything like that. And I'm not saying all these good things about it, by the way, just because, you know, Rich hooked me up with these beers, and I'll still be really honest with my review and my rating. So, anyways, speaking of ratings, uh, so my rating on the Beach House Amber Ale, uh, I'm going to have to give this an, an A-. I mean, it's really, really solid. Just the flavor, I mean, I'm even going borderline A for this, because just something about how they make it work, you know? And and they want they really want to have this the amber ale of the West Coast. They really want to just kind of take over in that realm because there aren't that many that people like even beer geeks would jump towards. So yeah, it's an A minus for me, uh, borderline A for the Beach House Amber Ale by Stride Brewing Company. You know, check it out if you if you could get a hold of this at all in Southern California. I definitely recommend this one. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next beer blog. Come by.